want to design your dream home? The Deadline Design team will show you how it's done. Isn't it incredible? Amazing. Together with builder Mike Griggs and designer Yasmeen Janine, we'll give you an exclusive insight into the design process by following a variety of different owners <laughs> on hugely different budgets. Champagne taste on a beer budget. 350,000. With wildly different tastes. The minimalist. Vintage. Scandinavian, maybe. But all desperate to meet a looming deadline. I've got relatives coming over from Germany and they're pretty fussy. The pressure's on us to wow them. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. You're amazing. Tonight, I oh, just can't get past the window treatments. We go back to the 90s. We've still got things like vertical blinds, which are apparently a, a no-no these days. <laughs> it's time to shake up this couple. There go your browns. With an epic renovation. Wow, this is a bit insane, isn't it? It is. Hey. To make the entertainers pad at their dreams. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh my God. <laughs> Not much, just had breakfast getting ready for the day. Kathy and Alex Tricolis have never been conventional. I'm from a, a, a Greek background, Kathy's from an Italian background, okay. so, um, you know, back in the days when we got married, it was a bit of a. Bit, bit of, of a no no. But 25 years later, swimming against the tide has turned out just fine. We've got three children, Aldous being 21, Stephanie, 19, Adriana, and 17, Christian. And they've done well. They built this palatial residence in the late 90s in Doncaster, 15 kilometres east of Melbourne. Love my neighbours, it's a court, it's very safe, it's great, I love it. There's just one thing wrong with the story. They haven't exactly kept up with the times. We've still got things like vertical blinds, which are apparently a no-no these days. <laughs> Peach carpets that I hate. They're now Austrian windows. They were written at the time, so don't hold it against us. Every time uh, Kathy would go out and buy stuff, it's always brown. So she used to love <laughs> brown, like brown cushions, brown I everything. I like things so. that match. And my cupboards are, are melting. It's actually embarrassing for, for a woman to have a kitchen like that. Oh, going on about it every time. I, my melted cupboards in the kitchen <laughs> and, and how you don't fix this house for me and how the paintwork's not right. Alex has promised to fix up the place, but so far, he's all talk and no action. Yes, anniversaries have come and gone, birthdays have come and gone, years have come and gone. It's, it's now a joke. Kathy and Alex love to entertain, and they've got an important family reunion coming up in 14 weeks. So they finally picked up the phone and called me. I need it done, and I've told Alex it's got to be done before our next family function. Great to see you. It's very grandiose out there, isn't oh, it? I'm glad you love my pillars at the front. I didn't say I love it. I said it's grandiose. <laughs> fantastic look. Yeah. Pretty much the house of the era, isn't yes, it? Yes, it was. Because you walk in, it's got the columns, it's got the type yeah. of windows, and that was apricot carpet, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was. So I loved it at the time, but now it's time to change yeah. totally out. Beneath the grand facade, there's a huge house. Upstairs, there are four bedrooms. But it's downstairs in the kitchen, dining and rumpus where the real work is needed. OK. Right. So this is the main sort of area? This is, um, yeah, our, our, our meals, dining meals, area, dining, I suppose. Um, kitchen. kitchen. Sorry, I've just got to... I just can't get past the window treatments again on this <laughs> oh, one. Oh, yes. Like, the little they pelvis, had to, yes. Everything had to match the rest of the house, so we continued it, but here we went a little bit... We, went, we actually went a bit out of the bounds of here. We put a bit of green into it. Here, yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. And then we had to have the same fabric in... The blinds. The blinds, the blinds as well. Yeah. 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 It would have cost you a fortune. Yeah, no, it did wow. cost me a so lot, this, but yeah, now this, pet this hate. This area is a hub. It's a sort of hub when we have a, a yeah. function or party. So you can imagine this room absolutely packed with like 30, yeah. 40 people. Yes. And we're all on top of each other. Right. Now for Kathy's bugbear. Oh, As you, you can should, see, you go to that my first. oven. That's messy. <laughs> it's been like that for quite a time. What's some time? Oh, a few years now. Does so it we, work? 
It does work, but not everything's does. functional. Everything works. That's what he but, keeps telling but me. It's uh, as you can see. I mean, the cupboards have um, have uh, melted away. Yes. How does the layout and everything work for you? I don't like it. Change the whole lot. I don't Total like different the, look. I don't like this sort of yeah. Total different look, look, look whatever now. it's called. Yeah. Um, I like the big island or the island benches that are in kitchens now. Yeah. Uh, it needs updating. What about the flooring throughout? I totally the flooring needs China, to go. If you can get a jackhammer in here. And just, oh, I'm sure you'll be great on it, Alex. Yes. I can help you. I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll, I'll have pleasure in doing it. Next to the kitchen is dining and then a rumpus. It's another frou-frou decor disaster. So Kathy and Alex want to give it a style injection. So, mm. yes, here is our... Um, Multifunction room. Yeah, that's call. it. Yes. Yeah. A bit of yes. everything. As you can see, that the colour scheme is pretty Still much the same. Still the same, and our curtains oh, continue all the way I'm through. I'm so impressed. Yeah, <laughs> continuity is your thing. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so once again, like, I am looking around. You don't have anywhere to put anything. No, no. there's no That's storage. No. That's downstairs. Upstairs, they want me to work on two bedrooms, starting with the master. Quite a big wardrobe. Yep. But just yeah. needs a bit... It needs a little bit more something. openness, I think. I don't know. It's just... Uh, give it... Well, unless you kick the walls out, yeah. you can't get much more yeah. openness than that. Yeah. But, you know, this is a really good space and this is your ensuite. Yes, yes. yeah. That's huge. Mm. It's a really big With ensuite. With the spa that we've probably used five times. Do you need a bath there? No. No? Not no. specifically? No. OK, so we can utilise and change that floor yeah, plan definitely. a little bit. Yeah. OK, that's really interesting. It's... <laughs> well... <laughs> You seem really colourful, exciting people, and it's yeah. just yeah. so... Bland, isn't Bland, it? everything. You said it, not yeah. me! <laughs> Across the landing is Adriana's room, and a collection that could rival Imelda Marcos. As you can see, that's my daughter. That's outgrown her bedroom. Wow. So it comes yeah. out into the landing. Kathy and Alex want the shoe stash gone before it colonises the whole house. So I'll have to look at storage, and lots of it. Something where you can sort of utilise a space, but not always maybe have a bed out here. Yeah, yeah but we need to just utilise this as a better definitely. space. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And the last thing on their list... You've done a lot with this. <laughs> yeah, wow. <well. laughs> Well, this, is, uh, this is the main part of the house that uh, has had nothing done to it. Uh, but, yeah, if you can lead out into a nice living entertainment area, that'll be fantastic for us. And we right do have, then. like, more on the side as well. Yeah, so. I saw through yes. the window in yes. the, we the do. dining room. Yes. It's quite a big area. Yes. You've got a big block. Yes. So that's two bedrooms upstairs and redesign the living area and outdoor entertaining downstairs. Now for style and colour. If they say peach, I'm out of here. What are the things that you do actually like? Yeah. You can show me the things that you look at and think, yeah, I'd like that in my home. Just mo modern kitchens where, you know, everything sort of seems to flow through. Openness, yep. uh, the nice white benches, yep. fresh, clean lines. Modern. Uh, yep. Modern, no peaches, no creams. <laughs> um, you know, there's all different colours there. There's earthy colours, there's... Um, OK, you know... which is cracking me up here, saying there's lots of different colours. All I can see is stone, white and brown. <laughs> there's no colour in there. Yeah, there's well, no... <laughs> there's, there's different colours to what we got here. So, yeah. Um, yeah. You're going for very safe options in that sort of simple, yeah. basic yeah. way, and I think yeah. I can spark it up a bit more yeah. Well, that's, that's what we're after. What are we playing with? What, what's our... Look, we initially said about 350,000, so, yeah. I mean, there's a bit of scope there, I think. Yeah. Um, uh, but, I mean, that's, you know, it can be negotiable a little bit. When you break it down, we're talking flooring, yep. light fittings, window treatments. Yeah. I'm imagining every piece of furniture downstairs because I can't see anything you want to keep down no. here because yeah. that skip's coming pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. I don't think people will recognise this house when we finish with it. And that's, that's what, what we, we want. want. <laughs> <laughs> so we said that together. That's what we that's want. That's exactly what I we want. want. I want people to open yeah. the door and go, oh, my God. What have they done here? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Seems like Kathy and Alex want what so many Australians are striving for. A perfect show home straight out of the pages of a magazine. What I have to do is give it personality and livability. Because show homes just aren't comfortable for family life. So I brought them to this place. It has the glossy look they're after, but it feels like a home. Yeah, it's yes. very open and light. This is what we're after. Yeah? Yeah. Have a look around the kitchen, have a look at the space, and, and just sort of... Really nice, yeah. I like this it... idea of having the sinks and that here and then going to here as well. So we've got, like, two bench, two work spots. Pretty I much like that. nailed it, uh, Shannon. This is yeah. exactly what we're sort of looking for. Brilliant. But what about the colour? 
There's so much more to life than beige and brown. So we said we don't want red walls and stuff, but I've come in and I've seen these beautiful red apples and I've gone, oh, they look really good. Yeah. See, so with the colour. Yeah. But if I was to do that, no, nah, there's no way. She was stuck in browns. If I was to I was buy them in the shop, <laughs> no way. The Everything only colour she has is on her fingernails, uh, Shana. That's the only colour she actually <laughs> the brightness. has. Okay then, let's try this colour on for size. Bit different. Don't know about the purple there. But anyway. <laughs> it's one of those things, it's an individual's yes. house, and, yes. that, and that's where you look at it. That it's it's all about personality and how you bring personality into yes. your home. It looks yeah, good. Yeah. yeah, the Ottoman's got nice and um, uh, like a purple shades in there, and um, that's that's different. It's different, but th that's the sort of introduction of colour that we, we spoke about, which I said to you, I like. I don't like yellow walls, yeah. but I mean, yeah, it looks really nice. It goes really well nice. with yeah. what's in here. Music to my ears. We can banish the bland. Let's hope my team don't run a mile when they see the size of the job. This house has a definite presence. Oh, yes, it does. does. Graceland in suburbia. Don't worry, they don't like it either. It's all fine. I mean, we can't knock it down, so what I'm hoping, yeah. Mike, is that we can box these in, square up the window. Yep, yep, love it, love that idea. Timber doors. New doors, yeah. definitely. Black is back. <laughs> Boom. Oh. Pretty peachy. <laughs> Hasn't been touched since the day they yeah. moved in. Yeah and they don't want to touch oh. it again after we leave. Well, in here... Now, I'm thinking something radical for the kitchen and living areas. A complete switch. Come over here, have a look at this. We've got this strange kitchen just tucked away. It just doesn't work well. So, Mike, oh. challenge knocking this completely out. Awesome. But do, like, a really big dining table, because they love entertaining. Make that the yeah. everyday lounge room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And around here... I'm rewinding in my brain already. ..is the kitchen. No, it's not. That's the table tennis. There's the kitchen. <laughs> so what you do, this will be knock this down. Mm. This to me feels really great for a kitchen location just because of this connection to the outdoors as well. Yeah. Good. So, yeah, love it. If the kitchen's going along the side of the wall, drainage, we've got an outside wall, we can get it into the wall. So that's a solution done straight away. Yeah. Lucky. Upstairs, I want Yes to expand Adriana's room into the landing to create a walk-in robe for all those... Shoes! We have somebody... Shoes! In. Well, you know, something Lads. close to our heart. But she definitely, has like, I love the fact she's got shoes. Yeah. Shoes deserve a really good home. There's they do. They do. I, I totally believe that. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, this, this room is very, very tiny. Mm. So what we were going to try and do, mm. the walk-in wardrobe's over there, yep. but you make the entry into the walk-in wardrobe here. Yeah, yeah. So kind of creating Girl this as, like, yeah. a mini portal before you get to okay. yep. get to the walk-in wardrobe. That seems pretty cheerful. Can we have a look in the wardrobe? Mm. All right, so what's this guy? Oh, small problem. Yeah. Air conditioning. You know what? There's something like that in the main wardrobe as well. Yeah. Mm. I'll leave Mike to worry about that, but we need the space. Let's look yep. at the master bedroom. Yep. It's a good yeah. size. It's a great size. Yeah. But the problem is, this part here. So mm. you know how we were looking the duct in that yep. bedroom back there? This one has two really strange ones. Mm. And then in the middle is the motor for the spa. So okay. across here, yep. have a look at this bathroom. So it's got that massive spa in there. They don't use it. They don't need a bathroom that mm. big, so they want a bigger wardrobe. So I'm hoping you can find out about those ducts. Duct to go can and motor to go. We may tick all the boxes here. If I can get that duct back for you, which is quite possible, you girls will be happy, the wall will be open where you want it to be. All right, beautiful. Coming up... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to welcome a brave new future. You've actually no. done exactly what yeah. we wanted. and Kathy Tricolas want to drag their family home from the 90s to the super sleek now. They love entertaining and in 11 weeks time they're hosting a big family reunion. They want me to make it an occasion for everyone to remember. So I'm creating the ultimate entertainment space. So I want to move the kitchen over into the rumpus area. So this back wall will serve us for all the storage and then knock down these two nib walls so I can do cabinetry all the way across, which allows me now to put a big island bench, which is exactly what Alex wants. 
So now the whole area will start to flow. The lounge will be in where the old kitchen is. So now the kitchen will connect to the dining, the lounge and the outdoor area. And it will definitely now be the heart of the home. Shana's new design calls for all new flooring to connect the entertaining spaces. Alex and Kathy hated the old cream tiles, so we're starting from scratch. In fact, everything's going. These were the days. <laughs> hey, Yaz, you sure you don't want to keep these? Beautiful. Alex and Kathy didn't just want more room to entertain. They wanted to open the house up to the outdoor area. This kitchen was like a wall between them and their yard. But we're going to change all that. I'm pretty sure Kathy and Alex will like my plans for their home. I've based my design around entertaining family and friends. And I'm kicking off with the image I used for inspiration. So have a look at this of what I think your inspiration should be. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Oh, Rather yeah. than focusing right. on your colours and everything, it's yeah. about the family getting it together. Is. Definitely. That's it's exactly definitely. what we do. So what I'm looking at is the things that go with it. The first surface I'm going to show you is a big tile. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. a big, yep. very light grey tile that has lots of texture in yep. it, it so that when you get mess and everything and footprints, it gets hidden a little bit. Yeah, the yeah. big tiles are beautiful. Really big yeah. ones. Yeah. yeah, make it yeah. work. Really nice. But then at the same time, I still want you to have some bling. Yes. Oh, yeah. So I found some beautiful mm. wallpaper. Now, Ooh. it's a beautiful soft grey and it's got a little bit of bling on there yeah. and it reflects. Yep. And it actually is quite glamorous. So yes. I feel like the front of your house should be quite glamorous. Definitely, yes. definitely. Yeah. But everything that I see and mm. get from you is all about those elements, about things yes. that are easy clean, yep. a little bit of bling to make you feel excited yep. and just relaxation and, and kicking back. So now I want to show you what the biggest thing in this house is going to be, and that's the floor plan. Yeah. Okay. Oh, bring it on. <laughs> bring it on. All right. Yes. OK, come over this way. I'm taking Kathy and Alex into a life-size mock-up of their old kitchen that I'm turning into a lounge room. See that shape? Does that ring a bell? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's your kitchen. OK, so imagine three big panes of glass that go all the way to the floor. Ooh, Take out different. all your benches. Yeah. yeah. That's your TV, and this is your everyday lounge room. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm trying Living, to be... dining. OK. All right. That's the reaction I was looking for. Now for the new kitchen, which I've put into the old rumpus to connect with the garden. And in here, you've got your kitchen. Ah, so there's your, your island kitchen. bench, yeah. stack of doors that open up to your outdoor area. So this is where the ping pong table was. Yeah. So you can actually sit at the bench, you've got a big pantry over there with your fridge, bench all the way over here. Could you get any more indoor-outdoor? No. no. <laughs> You've actually no. done exactly what yeah. we wanted. We, yeah. we, we just wanted to bring all this space together. Yeah. You've done it, Shana. <laughs> I knew you'd do it. Now, Alex and Kathy want a modern, minimalist look, but I want to give them something else too, some spice. So what I'm looking at doing is doing a big statement of artwork on here. That'd be nice. I'd really love you to have an original piece of artwork from an up-and-coming artist. Wow. Which will be an investment. Okay. Yeah. So I had a look at this artwork yeah. and it's pretty amazing. Wow. Oh, that's different. It's wow. very bold, yeah. it's very out there. Yeah. It would take up most of that wall oh. as a vertical. That's hmm. nice. Yeah, okay. that's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, your browns. There's no browns. <laughs> no There's a little brown. bit. <laughs> no peaches. I like colour, I told you, remember? I, I, I liked a bit of colour. Yeah. Um, and uh, I like that. I like that, yeah. To make the flow perfect, I've taken down the nib walls either side of the old rumpus room. But that's led to a little engineering issue. So I just completed opening up the wall. Shana wanted a bigger area to place the new kitchen into. Had to have a chat to the engineer because we needed a steel beam. It's on its way, so I'm just preparing for it now. 
That's the thing about multiple stories. It's harder to move walls around. But where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, the main beam's gonna be a bit heavy. When this style of home was built 20 odd years ago, it was all about different rooms with nooks and crannies. Of course, these days, houses are designed open plan, but with enough steel and some clever machinery, anything's possible. Just a couple of cleats and fingers. Oh. Now, steel beams arrived. I think, look, 180 kilos of it. It's going to be easy to lift, but we won't be able to get it above, so we've got a special machine coming in. Right, this much. I'm just going to get it onto the machine, guys. What it's going to do now is going to lift it up. It's going to hold it up in the air while we place our two end posts underneath it. it. Certainly takes the weight out of us holding it up ourselves. Lewis, go, mate. <laughs> Pushing the other ones up too. We just caught on a couple of little trimmers in the roof, so we're just going to adjust them so the beam can get pushed right up hard. It may have taken us the best part of a day to set up this beam, but it'll be worth it when the new kitchen arrives. Coming up, we bring out the boutique bling. It's the walk-in wardrobe. The new walk-in wardrobe for us. Wow. As a makeover becomes a takeover. Is how much? 200. 200 square metres. Yeah. In Doncaster, Alex and Kathy have finally committed after talking about renovating for years. They're going all out, spending $350,000 to tackle the downstairs living areas, as well as the new ensuite and bedroom upstairs. And more wardrobe space for Kathy and daughter Adriana. I'm just reducing the size of the ensuite so I can give Kathy a bigger walk in wardrobe. What I've got to do is I've built a new frame to support the ceiling. Next thing I can take out the old one. Thankfully, this wall wasn't structural, so no need for a beam. My new wall will keep up the ceiling. That's what I call extra space. I'm sure Kathy's going to be very happy. And so will fashion-loving Adriana. We're making a home for her prized shoe collection by partitioning off part of the landing and putting a door off her bedroom to turn it into a walk-in robe. But I want the design to have a bit of pizzazz. So I'm taking my inspiration from a boutique in Melbourne's ritzy South Yarra fashion district. Like any young woman, she loves her clothes, her shoes and her makeup. But she also likes a bit of bling. And I'd like to think I could recreate something similar to this high-end boutique feel. I love the neutral palette, the clever use of metallic details, the fact that all of the clothes are on show, not behind closed doors. But what I'm really, really liking is all of the grid-like patterns on the floor. I'd love to think I could recreate that somehow in some custom joinery I'm creating for her makeup desk. When you start rearranging walls and floor plans, there's always hidden costs. In this case, it's not only the steel beams. The air conditioning ducts were a major obstacle to Shana's design. You know what? There's something like that in the main wardrobe as well. Yeah. So we've had to reroute the system and replace the unit for a cool $14,000. Just when we thought everything was under control, Kathy and Alex upped the odds. They've stumped up an extra 50 plus grand to de-grace land the front entrance, replace the old curving staircase, all doors, handles and skirting, and to top it all, they want to change every window in the place. Just as well we had a reasonable timeline, this is turning into one of our biggest renos ever. Well, this is the first of many windows to go in. This one in Adriana's room is actually tinted. It's facing north, so it's going to keep her a bit cooler in here. We've got another one to fit. All I've got to do now is level up and pack it, screw the sides in, and I better get on with the rest. 
But I have to say, my favourite part is the new entertaining area downstairs. The old kitchen is unrecognisable. It not only links to the garden, but also over to the new kitchen. But what I really like is the new stack of door system we fitted. Now, this is great. It's really easy to use, and it really has made the space look, I think, a little bit bigger. I wanted to capture some glamour in Adriana's bedroom and new walk-in wardrobe. Nothing too over the top, just a taste of boutique. So Adriana's bedroom has two components to it. One is the entry experience into the walk-in wardrobe and the second is the walk-in wardrobe. So I'm thinking before she gets in there to dress, I'd love to have a makeup table for her, somewhere to put all her makeup, her jewelry. So I've got a great wall lamp. I was inspired by that great retail space I saw recently. So I'm doing a, a custom little grid detail and a metallic paint on the wall and that'll follow down onto the table. Then you get into her walk-in wardrobe. I've got great shoe storage, I've got open storage, I've got a mirror in there, I've got some drawers, hanging space. The open storage just is gonna provide that beautiful, luxe, high-end boutique feel. So not only is it cost-effective, but it looks really good as well. All in all, I'd be a happy, happy camper if I had a walk-in wardrobe like this, so let's hope she feels the same. I'm about to see Yas and Mike at the build and just see where we're at. We've got windows going in, front door, vanities taken out of the bathroom, and, you know, they always say this is the hardest part of the reno. It always looks like a war zone. Oh, perfect, but you're roughing in, so that's yeah. great timing. Yeah, it is Hi. Actually, yeah. Hey. Hey. Wow, hey. this is a bit insane, <laughs> isn't it? It is. Hey. Wow. Looks good, though. Like, that, that size is... Perfect for a lounge room. Mm. Like I know Kathy was worried about how small that was going to yeah. be, but yeah, now that's generous. opened up, I think it's really, oh, really good size. Look, sure. it's right. Once we got the steel beams, it has made the space so much bigger in here. I have a few things to show you upstairs. All right. I'll see you later. I'm this way. See ya. <laughs> oh wow. This feels so different. Kathy had a very pokey walk-in robe before. Now, by moving the wall here, I've given her ample room. The ensuite is smaller, but it still fits a big shower. Gone is a spa she never used. Double vanity and a toilet. Come and have a look at this. It's the walk-in wardrobe. The new walk-in wardrobe for her. Wow. Her own walk-in wardrobe. What a space now. It's pretty great. Yeah. I didn't have one of these at 20. I don't know how she survived with that small one before. The room is so, so tiny, but she definitely had no space for any of her mm -hmm. clothes. I want Kathy's bedroom to have a sense of glamour too. A little bit five star. And a surefire way to create that is with wall coverings. But I'm not thinking patterns, I'm thinking texture. I want to use wallpaper in the master bedroom and I want it to be intimate and glamorous. So a very soft textured wallpaper will help me achieve that. So I have this sort of rib here at the moment that almost looks like silk fabric, which is quite glamorous. And then we have one here that's got a stripe into it, which sort of makes it a different style to what I'm going for. This one grabs me straight away. It almost looks like folded silk and it has a slight shimmer to it. Having a shimmer there just speaks elegance to me. We've finally got the structure work completed and it's time to glam the place up, starting with the kitchen. When I showed Kathy and Alex this property, they fell in love with the kitchen, so I'm creating a similar feel with long, modern lines. And I've made sure they have plenty of storage for those big dinner parties. I've extended the cabinetry into the dining room to create a buffet. So, what have we got left to us? And I've gone for a warm grey to offset the white of the kitchen. Looking good. Another element that will make the new layout feel grander is the floor tiles. Big format tiles create space and opulence. Adam, you've just started and there's a long way to go. Yeah, another 200 metres. Yeah. Is how much? 200. 200 square metres. Yeah. OK, mate, well, um, I'm going to leave you to it. I've got a few other things to do, but, uh, yeah, yell out. No worries. And not for help. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Keep going. Coming up, 
club. My kitchen was here and now it's... Jesus. Are these the best clients I've ever had? Big tick so far. <laughs> <laughs> yes! It's three and a half weeks till Kathy and Alex open the doors of their new house for a family reunion. So they're keen to check on the progress. So not much has changed outside except the mess, but what do you think the windows? Yeah, they look really good. Really nice. Dark. Yeah. yeah. Different. I, th I think it sets the scene for what's happening inside. Can't wait to see the inside. Right. <laughs> let's have a look. First stop is the new hallway, where the old curving staircase has been replaced with an ultra-modern alternative. Whoa. Wow. What do you think? It's different. It's, it's square. Exactly. I've done this because I think it gives it more angles and you don't have a lot of architectural features in here. Big tick so far. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, let's go through here. The back of the house is the heart of this renovation. We're creating an open, flowing space that connects with their once abandoned garden. I'm just... <laughs> Well, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> taken in because I didn't actually expect this area to be as big as what it is. This is really, yeah, really nice. Yeah, it's weird. Knowing that my kitchen was here and now it's... Jesus. This is what I wanted to show you. Yeah, I'm you. loving that window. So now we've got this incredible piece that's architectural, like the yeah. staircase. That window is really yeah. fantastic. Love that window. Love that window. So now, Cathy, I want you to go in there oh. because this is not a pokey kitchen. Oh, God. So you've got... Everything that you need, you've got your drawers there. Yeah. You've got your drawers on this side. Yep. Your oven, just go like this. Hoy, come over for dinner. Yeah, yeah. Dining table. It's one massive just big space. Open, really open. Mm. The house actually looks bigger. It does. So yeah, it looks and a lot bigger. And everyone's together. Together. Yeah. Smart thinking, Shana. Oh, thank <laughs> you. That's what you've got me here for. Correct. <laughs> Kathy and Alex always wanted that feeling of indoor-outdoor living. And after seeing their great new kitchen, they've added to their wish list again. This pergola is a whole new room with a dynamic roof that will let the light in but keep the weather out. It's not cheap, over $50,000. All these additions mean their budget has ballooned from $350,000 to $450,000. So I have to make some adjustments. I so desperately wanted to have original artwork on this wall and make a grand statement, but the funds are pretty thin. So the one-off original artwork is no longer an option. Instead, I'm using a print, two of them to be precise. So you have the two pieces, but what I'm going to do is spin it upside down. And the way the artwork works is that it has a vein that goes all the way through when you turn it upside down. So it almost looks like it's meant to be. So to make the place connect even further, I'm going to pick out a pinky purple colour from here in one of these colours and put it along this wall here. So all of a sudden, we've got dramatic statement with artwork and colour connecting these spaces together. We've hit the part of the build where everything comes together really quickly. The painters are freshening up every room. The kitchen bench tops have been fitted and these fabulous textured tiles form a great splashback. The ensuite is getting a fit out with more textured tiles and contrasting charcoal on the new wall. There's a final touch on the exterior as well. We're boxing in the Graceland's columns with wood panelling. Timber is a popular decorative element with render. Once stained, it will soften the OTT look of the columns. Elvis has definitely left the building. In a small area like Adriana's bedroom, every piece counts. I want the space to feel like a collection of special things. So I'm on the hunt for a perfect pendant for Adriana's bedroom, and I'm opting to install a pendant over a table light just for that extra bit of interest. Now, this is a great option here, but it's just slightly too dark. I've got some window treatments in the same colour, so I don't want to make it too heavy. Now, this light's really awesome as well, but again, the scale's just not quite right. And this is a great colourway, but I'd actually prefer to install that in a kitchen instance over a bedroom. 
So what I'm actually really after is something a little bit more whimsical, playful, age appropriate, black and white, a little bit of scale. Sounds like I'm asking for quite a bit, but I know that light exists somewhere in this absolutely gorgeous showroom. And this might be it. The black and white contrast and elongated shape ticks all the boxes. Mike's already started putting the walk-in robe together. The open rails and shelves are inspired by the boutique I visited. And this open shoe rack means Adriana can have her precious collection on display. The makeup desk is simple, but I'll bring that to life with a bit of bling later. I'm using wallpaper in two key areas of the house. In the hallway, we've got our geometric bling with a cool statement light to set it off. And in the master, something more silky and glamorous. The lounge gets painted feature walls, which will connect to the art prints in the dining area. Oh, wow. So they're big. Turn, take it around there so yep. I can turn it around. Wow. <laughs> it's big. Yeah. So the idea is that they'll actually match up. So when they're hung, I only want a very small gap, you know, almost half of what that is, so yep. very close. Got that. By creating a wonderful new family area, everyone can drift effortlessly between the dining room and the lounge. Just need to move the rug back this way, because what I need to do is make sure that the couches both connect to the rug. Yep. Masking the edge of the rug adds to the intimacy here. Lounges are for connecting with each other, so I want it to feel open and cosy at the same time. The secret to open plan living is creating rooms within rooms. In this lounge area here, I've painted a very rich colour so it feels intimate. And by the placement of low-lying furniture, it means we can fit everybody in here, but it still feels open because you can see everything. I love the way Adriana's pendant light has turned out. I was looking for a black and white, very simple, playful, something that suited Adriana to a T, and I think this is the perfect find, so I'm thrilled. I've kept the pendant low to create an intimate setting, and I'm repeating the black stripe on the entrance to the walk-in robe. Wow, this is a change. Hello. How are you going? Yeah, it's wow. coming together. Still quite a bit to do. I gather you've got a big list for me. I do. So I've got some wall hooks. I've got a drawer that needs to get made up. I think I've seen that outside. Yeah. Uh, really, it's just sort of dressing after that. It's more hanging stuff, so... OK. Yeah. Now, before you think I'm going mad, the blue strips aren't my design. It's masking tape. What I'm essentially trying to create is a tiled background surface. So for this and this, they're going to marry together by these awesome metallic painted grout lines. Uh, it's taking a lot longer than I expected, <laughs> but I really, really hope the outcome is, is well worth the patience. Although I splashed the colour around downstairs, in the master suite, I've kept it muted and classic. But if Kathy's anything like me, it will be the extra storage she appreciates the most. By just moving the wall by a metre, I now have storage in this walking rope on both sides. We have Kathy's side, Alex's side, we have double hang, long hang, shelves, shoes, tall boy. This is now so luxurious. And although the size of the ensuite was reduced, it's still plenty big enough for two. Oh my God, I can't believe it's actually coming to an end. This has probably taken a better half of a day, but I'm actually thrilled with the result. Adriana's room now has a lot of shiny reflective surfaces, so I'm offsetting them with textured fabrics in the bed head and linen. This has been a mammoth build. There's barely a surface of this house we haven't touched. With a huge effort, we finished a few days ahead of schedule and within the revised budget of 450000 Labour was the biggest cost at 230000 Next came the kitchen at 60. The new pergola and outside entertaining space cost 58. The windows, front entrance and other extras, 48000 the master, ensuite and walk-in robe, 21. 
the lounge and dining room fit out 15, the hallway and staircase 10, while Adriana's room came in at 8,000. I can't believe we've finished. Oh my goodness, this just went on, on and on and on and on. And on. And on. And on. <laughs> the transformation's incredible. It, it's yeah. come up really incredible. well. I think they're going to love it. And opening up the walls for the structural, taking the kitchen from over there, putting it here. I reckon it's a great job, yeah. great space. Yeah, these are all the minimal surfaces Kathy has ever wanted. I know. You two can go on a holiday now, and I'm going to bring them in to see what they think. Did she say holiday? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to space. But... I can't run quick enough. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that is so different. <laughs> Come in. Oh. This looks like a hotel room. <laughs> no building work here. Just a glamorous new bedroom suite, some modern curtains and a pretty wallpaper have transformed this bedroom. I love it. Everything's totally different colours <laughs> that I would never have gone for. No, it looks really good. But the biggest change, the walk-in robe and ensuite. Kathy didn't have enough storage, but we moved a wall to create a glamorous new dressing room. Jeez, it looks big. It is big. Wow. It is. Oh, You've got your shoes. We're not going to run out hanging. of space here, are we? So good. So good. Yay! So good. Well, if they think that's good, wait till they see how we've transformed their daggy old bathroom. Oh, wow. geez. Oh, my God, look at the tiles. It's just like a hotel. Look at the texture. That's what you wanted. So we've got a relief on the tiles like we did downstairs just to create texture rather than sort of lots and lots of colour. I'm very happy with this. OK, well, it's not all about you two. Adriana is dying to see what Yas has done in her room. Oh, my God. Oh, that amazing. Looks, that looks good, Adriana. Do you like it? I love it. Her old room was pretty nice, but Yas has stepped it up a gear. The bed says luxury, the light says funky, and the makeup station says bling. And then you've just got that beautiful bed head, really subtle colour palette. Wow. Really, really nice. Not what I expected at all. But of course, this was all about the shoes. They used to spill into the landing. But we added a wall to create a stunning walk-in robe. Oh, my God. <gasps> wow. So good. Heaps of room, Adriana. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. And That's shoe different. racks on the bottom. I just love the oh, coat hangers. Yeah. <laughs> a bit of bling. Adriana, are you happy with that? I love it. It's yeah. really, really nice. Mm. You've covered everything. I, love I it. have it, yes, dear. <laughs> yes. That's a fantastic design by Yes. Kathy and Alex now have a new lease on life. Our changes are far more than cosmetic. They will be life changing, giving them more incentive to entertain with family and friends. And that means more people time, something we could all do with these days. Along with the practical ease of the new bedrooms and wardrobes upstairs, I think we've set up the Tricolas family for the next 17 years. Unbelievable. Um, I don't know, I mean, every part of the house is exactly what we wanted. Um, kids are absolutely stoked. They'll probably stay here for a few more years yeah. now. <laughs> but, uh, no, look, the, um, the total renovations actually uh, probably exceeded my expectations anyway. <laughs> I hope you get many, many years of enjoyment out of this. It's a brand new place. So leave you to it. Thank you, Enjoy. Shana. Thank, Thank you, Shana. All Thank the you best. Very much. See you. Thank you. What do you reckon? Beautiful. Oh, I love like this. We've done all this because uh, we, we just love entertaining, having people and friends over, and uh, I think it's time to have a drink and celebrate what we've done here. <laughs> <laughs>